So I've had some interaction with the institution. Uh, it's one of the best universities in Uganda. And because of its focus on technology and innovation, it's one of the universities that I came to know about quite early in my stay in Uganda. And a lot of Nigerians have passed through that institution. The institution has developed itself, carved a niche, niche area in the area of technology, and has, in fact, in recent times, you know, etched its name in history. I think he's one of the first, if I will recall, that has hosted a uh, TED talk here in, uh, you know, that's a global platform that they brought to Uganda. So the institution has done quite a lot. And ourselves as a community, we are really proud of the International University of East Africa. So it is one of those institutions as a community we continue to tell parents from Nigeria that they should send their words to. Because there are a lot of uh, institutions here, you might know, some of them are mushroom institutions. And you won't want to send your word to a university where they will just be given mere paper. There won't be knowledge, knowledge gained. And that is what we try to discourage. So uh, International University of East Africa is one of those we tell parents to send their people. And I'm very happy that a lot of Nigerians have passed through that institution. I will continue to encourage more to use it. And you don't find a lot of institutions who have cached, carved niche areas for themselves and say, in this area, we are going to be the leader. And that is an area I think the institution is leading and have contributed. I remember the, there is a, a Consumer Choice Award, which you, you won recently. So that is an endorsement by the public that, in fact, the institution is delivering, delivering on its mandate. So for that, I, I, we are really proud of uh, the University. Well, I want to start by really thanking IUEA, the International University of East Africa, because they offered scholarship to five Nigerians. You know, and like I said, that is a further, uh, you know, source of uh, pride for our community. So if you are saying what the institution we do in order to help maybe the needy members of the society, I would say that, I mean, the institution has already started, you know, delivering support, as it were, by giving this scholarship, because it has helped those students, some of them in postgraduate studies, to pursue academic studies. Another thing the institution has done, you know, is provision of excellent conference facility for the student population, particularly the Nigerian students, when they need it for some intellectual discussions. You know, the institution has really helped in that area. And we continue to urge the institution to do more in the area of research, provide these facilities to the community. There are a lot of uh, Nigerians here. They may be in other institutions, but those institutions don't have enough facilities. So we might want to appeal to IUEA to make their wealth of uh, experience, their capacity and uh, infrastructure available to these people you know, who might want to help the society in different areas of research. And like I said, we've been encouraging Nigerians to uh, come into the institution and I know now that IUEA is one of the prime destinations for Nigerian students who come to Uganda to study. If you innovate a solution that will solve one of Uganda's challenges, you can imagine how, multiple, uh, how, they, how, how they think can boost your income. You know, so I think they should task themselves to innovate. They've always, we have a lot of problems from other institutions, but we don't have from IUEA is because you have a listening management who you know, immediately responds to the issues affecting students. So we we'll, uh, thank you for that and encourage you to continue to do more you know, to support your student population.